would have held your hand until you died. That's what she would have done for you. And you, you did not do that for her. Gabrielle Nastandi is sentenced in a deadly hit and run. Today, the victim's family has their chance to address her. You're watching KITV News at 6. You must live with the horrible image of my daughter's body on your windshield. I pray that that image is forever burned in your mind. An Austin mother finally speaks directly to the woman convicted of killing her oldest daughter in a fatal hit and run accident. Good evening, I'm Katherine Stolp. Judy is on vacation tonight. Now that tear-filled statement came right after Nastandi heard she'll have to spend time in jail for the death of Courtney Griffin. KITV's Fred Cantu was at the Travis County Courthouse for the sentencing. An emotional day for all concerned. You are to serve 180 days in the Travis County Jail. But visibly shaken, Gabrielle Nastandi sat in silence as she learned she would spend six months in jail and 10 years on probation for running down 30-year-old Courtney Griffin in May of 2011. Nastandi may have been quiet, but the victim's parents had plenty to say about the night their daughter died. Lying in the rug, bleeding to death, unconscious, unable to call for help, alone, no help on the way for her whatsoever. She wanted to give her eyes, her organs, her tissue to other people that were in need. She wanted to, for them, for other people after she was dead and gone to have a chance at life or a chance to make their life better. You stole that from her. The sentencing closed the books on this case, but fell short of providing the closure the family had hoped for. I've been doing this for a very long time, and I have to say that I have rarely seen a situation where the criminal justice system is able to provide the peace that people need in a circumstance like this. What I tell families is that the criminal part of this process is going to be over, this legal part will be over, but that's different from the feelings that you have about losing your child. Because the death was alcohol-related, the judge also says that Nastandi will have to wear a blood alcohol monitor 24-7 for the first six months out of jail and have an alcohol interlock on her car ignition for four years. At the Travis County Courthouse, Fred Cantu, KITV News. Thank you, Fred, for that report. And Nastandi is facing yet another day in court. If you remember, Lori Griffin, Courtney's mother, has filed a $1 million wrongful death civil lawsuit against the 25-year-old driver. Now, as you heard Fred say, as part of Nastandi's probation, she will be required to wear an electronic alcohol monitoring device or SCRAM device for 180 days after her release from jail. And KITV's Cassie Gallo wanted to find out exactly how it works. So coming up in about 10 minutes, she'll show us what the device does and how it will monitor Nastandi. And we've followed this case very closely since day one. To give you a quick recap, in May of 2011, Nastandi hit and killed Courtney Griffin, a 30-year-old nanny and vet technician. Prosecutors in the case claimed Nastandi was drunk and drove off, but the defense argued she was looking down to set an alarm on her phone and didn't realize she hit Griffin. This was not an easy verdict for the jury to reach. Deliberations lasted more than two days, and at one point they told the judge they were having difficulty reaching a verdict. The jury finally came to the decision of a negligent homicide on February 21st. And this is quite the hot button issue on our Facebook page right now. So far, most of the comments we've received say they believe Nistandi should have received a harsher sentence in the case. And of course, you can join that conversation. Just go to Facebook and like KITV. Gabrielle Nastandi has been ordered to serve six months in jail. Well, after her release, the judge has also ordered her to wear a blood alcohol monitor for her first six months out of jail. KITV's Cassie Gallo shows us how the SCRAM device is unlike any other tracker and how it will monitor Nastandi. As part of today's sentencing, Gabrielle Nastandi is banned from drinking alcohol once released out of jail. I do believe that there's substantial evidence that intoxication had a part in the commission of this offense. She has to wear one of these. It's called a SCRAM device, 24-hour alcohol tracking. There's something about a behavior oh, modification is what it is, is if they've got this thing wrapped around their leg, they can't get away from it. How this device works, it goes on the ankle. Once it's locked on and secure, every 30 minutes it tests your blood alcohol level from the sweat on your body. 
Data analyst looks at it to make sure it was consumed alcohol versus environmental. Larry Vanderwood with Recovery Healthcare Corporation says results are swift and certain. Versus other technology, they'll test every hour or every time they get in a car. Such advanced technology closes testing loopholes and catches tamper attempts. If offenders try to drink, you'll know it. We get notified, court gets notified, bingo. They either picked up or have to be back in court. To keep public safety uh, in front, we need to keep getting technology up to speed with the offenders. Location is also monitored through GPS tracking. They prevent drinking and driving and they keep the public driving public safe. Nistandi will have to pay for this device, so taxpayers will not have to foot the bill. Downtown Cassie Gallo, KI TV News. Looks pretty uh, error proof and Sandy will have to pay about $12 a day to wear the device for six months. It weighs about eight ounces and Recovery Healthcare tells us they currently have 1800 in use in Texas.